try. Um, yeah, it's um, to be honest. When I've come back to Australia after you know, a long career, I wasn't really sure um, how things were going to pan out. It was good to come back here, be involved in rugby, and um, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time here. I've enjoyed working with the young guys in the 20s, the NRC, in the gym, you know, with the senior squad and my little bit parts there. So, um, yeah, it's, it's come along, and um, I'm pleased with the opportunity. Undoubtedly, there's some question marks. You haven't done a lot of coaching. It's yeah. fairly new, but what do you bring to the role? Yeah, definitely no question. I'm, uh, you know, I'm new to the game, but. Um, Probably number one thing is care. You know, I'm big on caring about um, the team, caring about each other. I'm big on caring about the cause that you're trying to achieve. You know, that you're striving for. I'm big on caring about who you represent, uh, be that your family and the fans and stuff like that. So I'm massive on that. I'm massive on obviously uh, working hard. You know, talent's not enough, um, um, and. And a standard, um, having high standards, you know. Uh, I talk about striving for excellence with all the teams I'm part of, and, you know, um, it's something that, um, you know, I've, I've sort of tried to drive with the teams. So, yeah. Sorry, so how do you turn the Reds into a winning force again? Is it an attitude thing? Do you need new players? Is it different tactics? Um, I think for me this year, the, the NRC, the countryside, has been a bit of a test case for me. You know, it's given me a little bit of belief. Seeing if you could um, um, work on a culture and, and see some change. I know it's only early days, and I know it's a short season with NRC, but um, um, there's been a big change with that group. And uh, so, yeah, I think, um, um, like I said before, caring how it, you know, investing in in the guys, um, um, you know, them wanting to play for each other. Uh, when tough times come along, if you care about each other enough, you know, you'll keep you'll keep fronting up. Um, if you care about what we're trying to achieve enough, you'll make sacrifices. If you care about who you're representing, the jersey you represent, um, you'll do, you know, some sometimes some incredible things. So um, um, I think there's a reasonable group of guys here. There's a lot of young talent coming through. I've got to see that through working with the 20s, the NRC going into the schools. The last two years, it's been a really good sort of grounding there. Um, um, I think there's some real po uh, positive um, signs for the club. You bring a bit of that All Black culture that you learned from the All Blacks with you, do you think? Yeah, well, you know, the Broncos had a reasonable culture. You know, the, um, the Crusaders, uh, you know, um, uh, and the All Blacks obviously have a uh, strong culture. So um, um, I guess you, you know, uh, I'm a rookie coach, but I'm also turning 43, so you know, I'm seven years off 50. I'm not that, uh, you know, I've experienced some stuff, I've seen some, uh, you know, got to go around the world, be in some different places, experience different coaches and that, and, um, you know, um, um, yeah, I'd like to think that's sort of uh, um, given me some good learning, you know. And what about your support around you, Tony McGowan? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, there's a few more appointments uh, to be made that, that'll get made now and I guess in the next week or so, but mainly today's, I guess, just about, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, talking about my appointment and um, and I guess a massive show of respect to Nick Stiles, who's been a Queensland servant. Um, he's got a beautiful family. Uh, he's a good guy. Uh, so, you know, it's a tough old day. Uh, for Nick, um, you know, it's uh, coaching, it's a solid old gig, isn't it? So, um, um, but yeah, I guess on my side of things, yeah, you know, it's, a, it's an opportunity and something uh, I feel pretty honoured to, to be able to have a crack at. Having seen the New Zealand system, so, yeah. having seen the New Zealand system for so long, can the Australian teams catch them? Can, can we catch up to the All Blacks and the New Zealand franchises? Yeah, well, mate, when I went to New Zealand in 2008, they were having a national review on the All Blacks getting knocked out of the uh, World Cup again. So, um, um, you know, it's not always been rosy, you know. Uh, uh, they've been going great uh, guns and, and good on them. Um, I think it can be better here, you know. Uh, 
I think if you probably one of the things that's been a driver for me to sort of get more and more involved is, uh, you know, it's been battling away a little bit, hasn't it, in Australian rugby? So, uh, um, you know, coming here, coaching is no different to how I was as a player. Whenever I went somewhere, Japan, Ireland, England, I always said the same thing. You know, I want to contribute. I want to serve, serve this place on and off the field. Um, um, and that's no different. Oh, the only difference now is I can't do that on anymore. <laughs> I have to do that off. Um, but I think, uh, you know, with mindset, you know, um, um, you know, working on skill set, speed of the game, um, uh, you know, with a strong uh, set of forwards, you know, you can get a reasonable game going. I think it can be achieved here. Um, but we'll wait and see. I like to think I'm a bit more about action than probably not the best talker. But you know, hopefully, you know, we can see some stuff uh, uh, grow here. Tony, did you have to? Yeah, I was under Joe Schmidt, but it's a it's a well-known sort of line. But uh, to say coaches are either sacked or they're going to be sacked, there's only two. You know, so you know, I come in. I'm, like I said, I'm not 22. I'm not 32. I'm 40. I know I'm just fresh out of the game. I sort of hang around for a long time, but you know, I've got um, a family. I guess I'm a middle-aged man. I, I understand um, what this game is. Um, you know, and it can be quite ruthless, and um, you know, sometimes you can uh, be safe and shy away from that. And, you know, sometimes you can step forward and um, you can embrace it and, and take it on and, and sit, you know. I'm not, I guess what I'm mainly saying to you guys is I, I'm not a career coach. I'm not a, you know, 20-year, 10-year coach. Um, you know, but, but like I said, I come here to contribute. I feel like we've had some positive things with the 20s the last couple of years. I feel like there's some positive stuff going on. Uh, I guess that I've been involved with the NRC. Um, yeah, you know, the stuff that I've got to do with the senior squad, with the gym, um, some of the training and stuff. I feel like there's been some positive stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm keen to crack into it. I'll serve this club. Um, and if that's not um, what this club needs at some point going forward, then I understand what that is. And, uh, and I'll walk away feeling like, you know, I go, you know, I didn't stand by, I gave my best effort, so yeah. Speaking of positive, there's already been a positive response for the phone calls coming to the IU, so that's one thing people are saying that you could have the goods to get them back where they were. Yeah, that's really nice to have that support, and uh, one thing I learnt this year, standing, I, I take the water on in those games, I'm in my yellow shirt, and um, I look at the crowd, and... Um, and sometimes, I, you know, there were some tough scores there and, you know, and you look at them and they're paying their hard-earned cash to come along and support. And, you know, you know that they want rugby to go well. Even my rugby league mates want the union to go well here, you know. So I um, um, appreciate that support. Uh, I take on that responsibility. Like, uh, I guess um, what I'm saying is that I acknowledge that it means something to me, and, and I'll, I'll make you know, that that's something I'll carry with me. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I got to tuck in for 10 years as a player. You know, I'm um, like, you know, with him most days. Um, um, but there's many guys, you know, who I, um, uh, like I said, have had impacts on me. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, you know, I'm sure if I get the chance to bump into Wayne, you know, have a chat or whatever. But um, um, at the moment, I'm, I'm actually in the middle of coaching <laughs> at the moment. Um, and I guess with this appointment, I'll be also prepping for the pre-season. Um, so, yeah. What have you found the hardest thing about coaching compared to playing the game? Not playing, yeah. The last two games of the NRC on game day, 
you know, I don't probably make the players a bit uncomfortable, but I, I, it's hard for me not to walk around the room, you know. I'm, you know, I just love that. I love that uh, that time. I love to play, you know. So, uh, yeah. Um, but this is a great connection. If you're not playing, this is a pretty cool connection, and to, to be with the guys, to work with them, to, uh, to hopefully you know, serve the team as best you can, to get them to, to a place where they can perform. And you know, I, I always say that that last that 30 minutes after a game has always been the best time. Uh, you know, when you've played your heart out for your mates. Sometimes, even if you've lost, it doesn't. You know, you sit there and you have that special uh, sort of time together. Um, it's good.